Hi campers, it's Miss Yaz from Camp Quarantine. Uh, today is a new artist day. Uh, I'm really excited about this artist because he is from my home city in Melbourne, Victoria, Australia. And his name is Mark Martin, okay? This is him here. He is an artist and illustrator from Melbourne, like I said, and he's also written um, a, a really beautiful book that I read today. You can check it out in the other video. But I just wanted to share his art and illustrations too. So he uses watercolour, gouache and pencils and lots and lots of layers to make his illustrations. And I absolutely love them. Look at all these colours. So he uses gouache as a type of paint as well. It's thick, thick for the um, mummies or daddies or artists out there that don't know what gouache is, okay? He illustrates lots of things, but today I really want to show you his botanics, all right? Because that's like the art that I love to make. Okay, there we go. So this is the book I read today. It's called A River, so mummies and daddies or carers. If you... Fancy a new book. This is a beautiful book. It's quite whimsy and magical, and it takes you on a little adventure inside a book. Okay, so today I want us to try something kind of new. We have looked at other artists um, where we've looked at flowers and things like that, but today I like, so Tiff Manuel, Bronwyn Bancroft, and today will be Mark Martin. So they're all sharing the love of botanics, but this guy's a little bit different, okay? So we're gonna look at his botanics here. And I reckon if you can draw simple shapes like ovals, curved lines, circles, U shapes, and these leaf shapes, I reckon you could make your own Mark Martian inspired botanic piece. Are you ready? Okay, I'm gonna tilt you down. And today we're not going to use pencil, watercolour, or gouache. I'm going to use silk crayons because I like how the colours on them. Um, so if you ever see silk crayons, Crayola does them. And I know Tiger Tribe do them and they're really beautiful colours. So let's have a look down here. Let's break it down first. I'm going to make sure you can see my paper. Can you see that? Yes. So, some of the shapes he uses. Where's that? Oh, it must be. Sorry about the shadow. Let's try and do some of his botanics. All right, let's go. I reckon if you can do um, some lines like this, just a line like that, and you can do a leaf like this, you could probably do this type of leaf or this type of plant here. That's some of my favorite that I like to use too, that he uses lots of as well. Like that, nice. I reckon if you can do a U shape like this, you could probably do a plant that has lots of U's in it like this. And then like, it's almost like a candelabra or a pitchfork or something. He uses a few U shapes like that. The other one that I know he likes to use is one there if you do bendy lines like this. If you do a few bendy lines like that, right? We'll do bendy line, bendy line, bendy line, bendy line, bendy line. And then do an outline on the outside that's one of his art pieces there, like that. Then we've got other ones, if you can do kind of like upside down teardrops, like this, go across. You can probably do his teardroppy style plants like this. I reckon that's pretty good to set, set you up. Oh, well, maybe I'll do one more actually. The other one that you could probably do is this one. And I'll take photos of all of these. If you can do a an oval like that, then you could probably do 
with using lines, something that looks like this. Then what you can do is you can piece them all together, okay? We're going to do one big mix-up of all of these leaves that he uses in his artwork. Are you ready? And I'm just going to go straight into the crayon today. What do you reckon? Let's do it. And remember, he uses lots and lots and lots of layers. So let's see how we go. And you can just kind of get creative with this. So let's do ones like that. I might do some lines like this to set me up. And I'll do a time lapse of this, I reckon, as well. And we don't have to always use green because in our imaginations, and even in real life, leaves are all different colours, aren't they? Especially in autumn or in America, you guys say fall. Right now in Melbourne, we're in the middle of autumn. Okay, look at that. Then I might draw another, choose another colour. Maybe I'll do a, what, one purple or something. And I'll do that star shape one. Hopefully this one doesn't break. I reckon one of them did break. It's a different purpley one. Do you remember this star one with like, I'll do that. And do you remember what we do with this shape? We're going to outline it like this. And we want to layer and layer and layer and layer, okay? So I'm going to do that. Might even do that. This one could go out that way. And then we'll do another one. I might even get a different color. Let's look at some other shapes. We could do the U one that looks a little bit like a candelabra. Like that. And this is just me having a play. Remember, lots of art is all about playing. Then I might do like an ovals. I've got a few ovals here. You know, I want it to kind of look like it's hiding behind my other plants, you know? Different ovals. Oval. Like that. And then I'm going to do some lines. Lines. And then I'm just going to keep going and going and going because he's got so many fantastic shapes on his artworks. I could even do, you could even get crazy and go on top. Okay, remember drawing art is all about play. Okay, so that's what we're doing today. It'd be even cooler if we did it on black paper, actually. I might have done that next time. So the colors pop. Or yellow paper or green paper. Do you see that? What other colors have I got here? Let's try yellow. We can do like shapes like star shapes okay I think you get the gist check it out I'm gonna put you back up here and here you have a mark Martin inspired art piece and I would just keep going and going and going. I cannot wait to see what you make campers. Have loads and loads of fun.